Eiffel takes place at this weekend and it really has established itself as the leading photography fair. It's now in its 23rd year and it's grown as the market for photography has grown uh, in recent years. Uh, even auction houses like Christie's have had added uh, contemporary photography to their very prestigious fine art sales. So if you go to Paris Photo, you can browse those stalls, dozens of international galleries showing work there. But there are also special exhibitions, signings, uh, talks, Q&As with photographers. I had a look around uh, the opening last night. I saw a very nice installation of Man Ray uh, photographs, uh, some interesting work from Japanese photographer Daido Moriyama, and I spotted a couple of Cindy Sherman prints there as well, which are quite rare. There's also a section for newer, more experimental galleries, and one that I particularly enjoyed there was from Argentinian photographer and uh, videographer, actually, Andres De Nigri. His show was called uh, Mechanisms of Oblivion, and he really explores the very format, the uh, process of photography itself, with art installations as well as prints. Uh, so we asked him to choose one of those pieces on show in Paris. Let's hear more from him. If I have to choose just one piece of the whole series, uh, what I will choose obviously is the, the central piece, which is a 16 millimeter film projector that was modified to burn the film, to destroy the film that is playing. Uh, so this is a kind of concept, conceptual twist in the classical imaginary about film and memory and the film as a document. So as you can see, that film was actually burning in the uh, in the installation, which I'm sure caused a few uh, concerns among the security personnel at the Grand Palais. You could smell burning. And so for those who aren't in Paris this weekend, that fair actually extends further than France. They did a, a, a Paris photo Los Angeles a couple of years back, and now they're opening in New York next spring, which just shows you how much demand there is for photography in the art market.